In this video, we're going to look at the idea of checking spelling and grammar within a document. Now, as you can see in this sentence that I've typed, there are some examples of both grammar and spelling errors. Now, real quick, if you notice, we can come up to review and we can actually say check document. Okay, so it'll go, it'll check the document. We can see here that there's one spelling, there's one grammar thing that we need to correct. If I right click over the grammar area, you can see that it wants to put a comma in. I'm gonna let it put a comma in. That corrects the grammar error. Right here, it doesn't know what this word is. Now it's gonna assume that what I want is type. And so I'll put that in. Now sometimes, we have the ability in Microsoft Word, by default it's turned on called autocorrect. So if I was to type the and I type T-E-H and hit the space key, it's gonna assume that that is what I wanted to type. Now sometimes that can be problematic if indeed we wanted to type something and it auto changed. What I wanna show you is real quick to finish this video, where do we find those options? So if you notice I clicked on the file tab, I'm coming down to options. The options bar is gonna open up and I'm gonna go look at proofing. So here are my options. First of all, auto correct options. If there's something that you constantly type in correctly, you can actually type it in, okay, and have it replace the text for something that you type in correctly. Notice here, uh, you know, correct two um, capitals to automatic, these are all corrections that are made automatically. So for example, you know, we now have the whole emoticon thing. So when we type things in using emoticons, we really probably want them to correct emoticons. These again, a plethora of words that are commonly mistyped and auto corrections that get made, okay? So an example is that I used to use is my last name. My last name is Magidson. Um, and if you notice, when I type it, it'll capitalize it. And the reason being, I've put an autocorrect in there to do that. Here's an example, by the way, of an emoticon, and then also a copyright. So if I do a copyright, which is left paren, uh, and then C, and then right paren, you'll notice that it works. So hopefully this helps. Take care.